scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I believe that a condition you came with, you actually can leave it there. Yes. So when prayers are going on, don't just be looking at other people. If you are sick in your body, you must believe that I'm ready to be healed. You have some lump, some growth. Don't sit down and say, how will it disappear? I've taught you. It's just an interplay of energy and matter. It is true. Some terminal disease, HIV, whatever blood condition, maybe genotype, whatever it is. Don't say God cannot heal you. You're here, you have all kinds of bone conditions. Don't sit back and say, look at the size of my bone. Can I walk? Brothers and sisters, we are talking the Lord Jesus Christ here. Exalted as both Lord and Christ. How about impartations? Some of you are in their need of many graces. Graces that create new conditions. You cannot be walking in a territory and everybody is looking at you as if you are a piece of rag. It means there is a condition that is responsible for that mockery and that shame. And I'm telling you in the presence of God, that condition can change. When you say it's my background, what you are simply saying is there is a condition. God can give you another condition. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens. For in the sanctuary, God. So, as a normal human being, you can hug, you can shake, you can greet. But when Jesus comes, you will be amazed. The same words you were hearing from morning now does not become the words of a man again. When these words begin to come, please listen to me. I want you to just imagine light coming from the throne to your life. And what is it doing? Changing conditions. Changing conditions. And you check yourself and find out just like a dream is gone just like a dream and there are certain conditions that you may not be able to verify physically because they don't come with pain but you believe at the instance of God's Word the power of God is touching that woman on purple help that woman I'm seeing like oil being poured on her oh madam your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you Jesus, the Son of God. Please pray strings for me. Take it higher. Listen, I used to watch this years ago in the meetings of Catherine Kuhlman, T.L. Osborne, and I would see these people would just come with childlike faith, Reinhard Bonke, and when they would teach, they would tell you that Jesus is here, and you would think it's a joke. Within minutes, 
brothers and sisters you will see all kinds of miracles and I said God there has to be an explanation to this just like that and then I learned that it is not just like that when the anointing comes when you are frying palm oil in the kitchen women look up please you know what happens to that kitchen as soon as fire what happens sometimes the condition can be so harsh it does not speak to you but it will make you run out of that kitchen so if you are a demon for instance when the fire is applied and that kitchen is you there is something that that fire is able to do and it will make what was there help them to leave you see how deliverance happens yes just because a word is spoken be free be delivered no no it's not just a word speaking there there are innumerable company of angels the power of God moving from place to place what is the assignment to find out what is not consistent with the character of the Christ we have called this a miracle service and the Bible says everything Adam called it that was the name thereof when Jesus appeared to me and stretched his hands towards me I'm telling you I know the light entered me whether it entered through my head whether it entered through my chest I don't know don't ask how the power of God will get into your body <laughs> the power of God is not a needle the power of God is not a tube that is passed through you. It can come in and begin to correct things. And that when it's time to testify, you will find yourself running to come and stand and say, Jesus, this really happened. How about conditions in your office? How about conditions in your bank account? How about conditions in your, your life, your family? apostle we have tried and tried to build for seven years this house has refused to be completed i tell you there is a condition making that happen by the time god releases something upon you remember all blessings come from god i've taught you through man to man that is the dynamics like you hear people testify someone calls you even while service is going on and says where are you i don't know why i just feel like blessing you now you understand a condition reproach is a condition infirmity is a condition spirits merely enforce conditions that is the assignment in a human body or in an environment to enforce conditions conditions that create outcomes that negate the speakings of the word a miracle service therefore is a platform that allows the word of god in partnership with his power to move in the midst of his people and begin to correct conditions correction that can be scientifically proven spiritual in origin miracles are platforms where both science and faith agree let me repeat myself miracles are platforms where both faith and science agree faith says be healed science confirms that it happened to you faith says be delivered science confirms that it happens every true miracle must have a scientific expression because they are the two platforms that explain man and the occurrences in our cosmos faith takes care of the realm of the spirit and the supernatural science gives interpretation and meaning to what happens in our physical environment none of them is anti-god in itself it starts from the realm of the spirit light be and it manifests physically as light so the healing starts from the realm of the spirit and physically your life and your destiny your children physically like the dear ones who shared their testimony here can you imagine that one word just comes by the spirit 
and dear people of God look at this one word to a politician may God shift you and it will look like just a word until you see the forces that fought you begin to come and you will know that a condition has changed how about a businessman you're trying to do everything you know to do but there is a condition that authorizes both men and spirits to fight you my assignment tonight is to walk in partnership with the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit to engineer this transformation by turning the conditions in your life around and this by the grace of God will be faithfully done tonight yeah. are you ready please rise up on your feet just two prayer points and I'll begin to pray for you prayer point number one I like you to insist tonight please be intentional insist by way of prayer that these conditions the Bible says that the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen are eternal lift your voice and begin to pray the things that are seen are temporal. The sickness that I see is temporal. The oppression that I see is temporal. Is someone praying? Elamatoshi araba balagada vodo shekepa elamo sata de roshika ete brekete shebalados zaga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point tonight. It is I. I began to sense this even before I left for the miracle service in Zaria. Just help those under the anointing already. I sense that tonight God is not only visiting individuals but God is extending it even to families I began to sense that right from Wednesday or so that you see there are some of our family members that may not have the faith or the discernment to receive but God is using you tonight as an altar not only to speak for yourself but to speak for families are you ready to pray now lift your voice in one minute and say father not just me but everyone connected to me please pray not just me is someone praying outside pray online pray jesus the lifter jesus the healer jesus the restorer Hallelujah. 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 The final thing I will tell you is please be sensitive to divine instructions. You see, under the influence of the Spirit, there are many things that don't make sense. But in the childlikeness of the gospel, Romans 15 and verse 19, let that be the last scripture. Let me show you something. Paul is speaking to the church in Rome 15 and verse 19 it says through mighty signs and wonders and by the power of the Spirit of God oh dear it says that from Jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum, I have preached fully preached the gospel of Christ so the gospel is not fully preached until there are miracles signs and wonders right now just before we pray just stand still everybody where you are no shouting no nothing i just want you to bring for me those who are under the anointing whether inside or outside just do what i'm asking you to do sing hallelujah Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. 
sing Christ is risen from the dead sing Christ is risen sing Christ is risen sing Christ is risen from the dead Because I, I just I began to see angelic activities just moving across inside and outside touching people and the Lord is giving me an instruction just bring the people out some of you it's not just individuals God is touching families using individuals this is a miracle service now hold on please hold on please um the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing like fire i saw the number 43 and i'm seeing it come on people and the lord is telling me he is visiting foundations that's what i'm hearing Right now, I stretch my hands inside and outside. 43. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where they are, but I stretch my hands. Foundation. I've been visited by the Spirit of God. Negative found. Help them. Raise. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. Bring them out. This is the place. Of surrender. The word of God. This is the place where your life is changed. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me chains. I always see this in the miracle services. I'm seeing chains on the feet of people and the Lord is just asking me to stretch my hands and right now as I stretch my hands every chain chains of ancestry that has held anyone down bring them out I decree and declare right now chains be broken chains be broken chains be broken I place the word of God upon your life upon your destiny chains be broken. Chains. Be broken. Chains. Be broken. The Lord is still breaking chains. Chains are responsible for circles of retrogression. Retrogression. Nothing moving in your life. There are still more people inside, outside, following online. Anyone whose life has been stagnated. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Atmosphere shift now. Chains be broken. Break out. Holy Spirit, who now? Heaven's open. Heaven's Hallelujah. open. Who is Olua Kemi? Hold on, please. I'm hearing a name Kemi. Olua Kemi. We have to be very fast tonight. God is visiting people. I'm hearing a name, Olua Kemi. I don't know who that is. Who is that? What's your name? Olua Kemi. 
What's your name? Oluwake. From where? From your state. Or your state? Where are you from? From Ogbomosho. Ogbomosho. Lift your hands and shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That oppression leaves you now. Never to return to you. Help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam. Hold on please. This woman. Please come. Bring her. Just be careful with the people with the... My God, tonight is a night of divine supernatural visitation. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. Please listen to me. You see, the thing about the power of God is that he can step in in a moment. Moment. Who is Silas? I'm hearing Silas in my spirit. Silas. The Lord wants to break the yoke of retrogression and stagnation from that family. Silas. Please don't come out at random. Don't come out at random. We're organized people. This is a miracle service. Where are you from? Edo State. Huh? Edo State, sir. The person I'm talking about must be from Edo State. Where are you from? Edo State. Sir. Where are you from? Give him the mic. Come. Where are you from? Edo State. Edo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, my friends. You believe in Jesus? Father, I'm praying for these people. All of these people, for that name, Olua Kemi, two of you, the power of God is coming on you now. I'll pray for everybody, but two of you are just on fire. Two of you, right now. The supernatural power of God is coming on you it's not something you can stand this is the word of god we're talking about the word of god here now in the name of jesus every oppression over every olua can we help this woman so she doesn't fall on that bar please in the name of jesus madam i stretch my hands in the name of jesus right now i'm seeing light entering you let there be a, mi a miracle in your body right now now in the name of jesus christ christ I'm seeing the power of God come on someone. I'm not seeing the name, but I'm seeing honorable there. I know this must be a politician. Right now as I'm speaking, a supernatural power of God. The Lord is saying he's breaking something connected to foundations. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, according to the word of the Lord, I decree and declare that everything connected to ancestry and even foundations Please let them not just get up and move like that. There is a reason why we ask them to come out. It's not for show at all. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance right now. Let there be deliverance right now. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a family in total. Plus mother and father, I'm seeing a family of seven. You came here. Where are you? Come. I'm seeing my left side. The Lord is telling me that they are from my left side. Here, just somewhere here. Is there a family like that? Please come. A family of, in total, seven. This is what the Lord is showing me. Do we have anyone like that? Please make sure they are correct. Don't, we are not lying. We are not faking it. They came here. Let them come, please. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. I decree and declare over all of you here. Who have come out by the spirit every devil that will not let you go hear the word of the lord i declare by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three release their destinies now one two three go go now wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name above every other name be delivered now be delivered now In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, where is the family I spoke about? Just vet them. Let's be sure that. Uh, Hallelujah. Seven. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for that family right now.
seven this is what i'm seeing i know what i'm seeing in my vision are they here let them stand here i will pray for everyone who has come but particularly family of seven where are they okay let me pray and then everyone who has come no problem you can join them father now out of her now help that woman out now in the name of jesus release that family by the power of the holy spirit release them now in the name of jesus someone remove the child if she's holding a child so please remove the child so she doesn't fall with the child we are here for you come and do what you do hallelujah where are you from sir if I stay, but we stay in lagos you stay where in lagos sir. in lagos lagos i want to pray for you these are all your children the family yes. father look at me i'm seeing your hands tied in the spirit and the lord is saying to lose your hand this is another family that's all right i'll pray for them the one of your daughters is going to be used by god and the power of god is going to come on that person right now as i'm speaking father i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god may that anointing that separates that consecrates and makes mighty may that grace rest on that one right now in the name of jesus christ and in the name of jesus i cut you away from this delay in the name of jesus christ and for this other family that has come in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare madam where are you from this woman where are you from, from kogi state, kogi state. Yes, sir. i want to pray for you okay. say i shall not die i shall not die in jesus name jesus one more time say i shall not die i shall not die i decree and declare because i'm seeing a coffin in the realm of the spirit you have been having dreams is that true Yes, sir. and you see dead people in the dream yes sir. sometimes you even see that you are the one who died yes, in the name of jesus christ the plague of death ends now and i use that as a point of contact over everyone here if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that death is looking for you or your loved ones in the name of jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now help them please help the little one now every family here represented i stretch my hands and i declare go forward in jesus name go forward in jesus name go forward in jesus name there is a family that came from kano where are they i'm seen by the spirit the lord is telling me there is a family that came from kano we have to be fast if there is such a family please let me know so that we can pray i'm seeing that they came from kano i want to pray for you right now i don't know if they're inside or outside kano i want to pray because we're going to step into a massive massive moment of deliverance strong deliverance that must separate you from and with anything please if you find that family let me have them here i just want to speak to them you came from Kano let me pray for them right now I'm not saying you are from there I'm saying you came from there let me pray for you hallelujah the overflow outside I want to pray for them the Lord is showing me something the overflow outside those outside i just want you to stretch your hand towards the screen i want to pray for you the lord is revealing something to me right now the overflow outside can you help me camera i want to pray for them our media people let's work together please i'm i'm just the lord is revealing to me those outside the overflow outside please stretch your hands i want to pray for you right now i'm seeing that the power of god is coming on certain people i'm seeing the number 18. i'm going to pray for those inside i don't know why god is ministering to those outside but right now those outside 
at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and i want you to bring all the people under the anointing outside are you ready one two three shout jesus right now i command those devils to leave in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and by the power of the holy ghost bring them outside right now i decree and i declare by the spirit that raised christ from the dead my god i'm seeing yokes breaking breaking right now in the name of jesus the christ of god let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus strong deliverance is even for families in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, let there be deliverance now. Those outside yokes are breaking, 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 breaking for those outside. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, those of us inside, at the count of three, I want to pray for you now. Please pay attention. It is true that there are spirits that oppress people. It is true that there are spirits that sit upon the destinies of people and continue to sabotage the purposes of God. Mysterious occurrences in your life. Habits that you cannot stop. Patterns that cannot be broken. Are you ready now? All the other overflows following online. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. That name that is above every other name. As you shout that one who is oppressed, every family under captivity under the sound under the sound of my voice as they shout that name exalted as both lord and christ let there be deliverance right now are you ready koinonia one two three shout jesus, jesus! release their destinies now please bring them out inside outside release their destinies now Release your families now. Hey, pa, take it, take it, take it. Help that woman, please. Release them now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Please bring them. Bring all of them out. I like you to open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare i am free from everything that ties me down please pray lift your voice and pray declare ye that thou mightest be justified are you praying are you praying don't be distracted i declare liberty i am free by the power of the holy ghost all the overflows in the name of jesus free Every devil, every spirit, in the name of Jesus, every spirit manifesting in your dreams, taking you back and programming things to your destiny. Right now, I declare fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Every devil from the dream realm, I cast you. Let them go now. Release your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here by the name Ishaku? I'm hearing the name Ishaku. Is there someone with that name? Your name? Huh? What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. Daniel Ishaku. Madam, is your name Ishaku? Hold on. Where is your son? You couldn't make it. What is his name? Ishaku. Where is he? He's in Dawaki. I need to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, please, if that is your, not your name, please don't come out. 
in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God according to the word of the Lord I pray for you right now a visitation comes not only to your life but to your entire family I stretch my hands towards you and I declare be free now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I bring you life I bring you freedom by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now the Lord is telling me he wants to help them please up the balcony the Lord is speaking to me there are families where it is the women that feed the men no matter how hard working you are the husband is the wife and the wife is the husband practically speaking and it may not necessarily be because of laziness it's just a spiritual pattern that has destroyed people right now I'm praying anyone connected to such a family or such a condition right now the power of God is coming upon you and in case you are standing here and your loved ones are victims of that pattern it is the Lord revealing this to me in the name of Jesus Christ right now right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah now this is an interesting thing I'm seeing but let me pray it anyway there are people the Lord is telling me it started from last year using the guise of the pandemic but it's not really about the pandemic you have been losing money consistently till now consistently whether you are in business or not money has been a gradual decline by the spirit of God we're not worshiping money here but if God gives a word on that wise we must respond to what he's saying I want to pray for you now because there are some of you altars have been activated using the guise of the pandemic you will be surprised to see what happens to you now father I am praying even as you have instructed me there are individuals here and there are families that this spirit has tied down the resources of the families and continues to bring them down right now let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a very interesting revelation this is for pastors this word I'm about to give is for pastors I'm hearing in my spirit that the seasons of retrogression the seasons of delay you are a man of God here please listen because something is about to come upon you if there are people under the anointing at this word I just wanted to bring them out right now you are you are in ministry here the Lord is saying the powers that are holding you down whether male or female you are in ministry, missions, pastoral ministry. Right now, I decree and declare there is speed that is coming. May that grace come upon you right now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Help them, please. Take that grace now. No more delay. An unction is coming from heaven, changing your condition by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Reverend sir, the Lord is giving me a word for your wife. And the Lord is saying she's stepping into a new season of the prophetic and of favor. These two graces, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, Madam, by the spirit of the living God and according to the word of the Lord, don't bring her out, just keep her there. Step into that season of the prophetic and activation of the grace and the gifting of the spirit upon your life and also of the season of favor in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing 11 people this is a vision I always see when God is speaking to me about promotion or increase I usually see men climbing ladders and I'm seeing 11 people the power of God is coming on them right now the Lord is telling me that your lifting is a strange season you know I began to announce this from last year 
please believe what I'm telling you in the name of Jesus father where are they Mateshko Libra Katoska Tepakatosia whether in career in business in politics right now take that grace that grace that lifts take that grace in governance and politics take that grace in the name of Jesus you are climbing that ladder and no power will stop you in the name of Jesus Christ help this man please help honorable please hold him I speak to you again by prophecy that in the name of Jesus Christ for as many as I've seen some of you are in a season of promotion but as it is there are councils sitting down and there are voices that want to bring you down I stand by the grace God has given me help them please I push you now step into a new season I push you now by prophecy step into a new season hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.